Now we are working on two digit by two digit subtraction with regrouping. We have 64 minus 26. A line in the middle. And the right are tens places. And our ones place. We have six tens. So we're going to put six tens. Four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have four ones. One, two, three, and four. Don't forget, we have more on the floor. Which we do have more on the floor. Go next door and get 10 more. So we're going to borrow from that 6. So that 6 is going to become a 5. So we're going to take that 10 because we borrow one to give it to the ones place. Put one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to now we have instead of four, we have. 14. So now we're going to subtract 14 minus 6. So we're going to subtract, take away 6 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now we're going to count how many ones we got left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. And now we got to subtract five minus two. We're gonna take away two tenths. So now we have three tenths. Another way to solve sixty-four minus twenty-six is by not using any manipulative, but using a helping hand. We're still going to go and don't forget, more on the floor, go next door, and get 10 more. So we're going to borrow from 6, 1, so this is going to become the 5, this 4 becomes a 14, and then we're going to use our helping hand this time. So we're going to stop, we're going to keep 6 in our head. Or we say with our hand, we say we start from 6 and we're going to stop at 14. So we say 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now we're just going to count how many fingers we have left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we're going to have 5 minus 2. We have 5 and we're going to take away 2. 1, 2. Now we have 3. And we have the same answer as when we use the manipulative. Now we're doing 33 minus 17. We're going to don't forget that more on the floor, which we have more on the floor. We're going to go next door and get 10 more. So this is we're gonna borrow, we're gonna borrow from three. This three becomes a two, and this three becomes a thirteen. So we're gonna borrow, we take one, and we're gonna put ten on the one space. Yeah. One, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now we can subtract thirteen minus seven. So we're going to take away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six left. And now we're going to do two minus one. We need to take away one. It's going to give us one. So our answer is going to be 16. The other way we're going to solve this one is the same way. More on the floor, which we do. Go next door and get 10 more. So we're going to borrow. So this 3 becomes a 2. And this 3 becomes a 13. So we're going to say 7. We're going to keep 7 in our hand. And we go 7. We're going to start from 7. We clap our hands. And we're going to stop at 13. So we say 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then we're going to see how many fingers we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now we have 2 minus 1. So we have 2 minus 1. 